states of matter to live each living being breathes in air life on this planet has been possible due to the presence of oxygen in air and water on earth to keep going we need energy which is supplied to our body by the food we eat to live constantly we are using substances in different physical states around us can we give them a name collectively you may be surprised but the answer is yes they are all different forms of matter what is matter matter is defined as anything that has mass and occupies space everything around us is made up of matter it is made up of atoms classification of matter in nature matter exists in three forms solid liquid and gas all three forms of matter is made up of very small particles which exist independently these particles are called molecules the arrangement of molecules provide shape and volume to any matter intermolecular force and intermolecular space as a child you must have played with building blocks and made different shapes by changing their arrangement in a similar manner molecules are the building blocks of matter and different states of matter are due to difference in arrangement of molecules molecules attract each other the force of attraction between molecules is called intermolecular force of attraction in a similar manner the space between any two molecules is called intermolecular space solids molecules are closely packed in a solid with little or no intermolecular space but very high intermolecular force of attraction the molecules cannot move but vibrate at their places molecules possess less energy in a solid properties and reasons for exhibiting the properties one solids have a definite shape and occupy a definite space that is solids have a fixed volume reason since molecules are closely packed in a solid they have least intermolecular space and strong intermolecular force of attraction they cannot move from their place giving solids a definite shape and volume two solids cannot flow reason due to the strong intermolecular forces they cannot flow three solids are incompressible reason as there is no place left in between the molecules therefore molecules cannot move closer to each other as a result solids are incompressible four solids have any number of free surfaces depending on their shape reason solids are those substances which have a definite shape and volume they are non compressible cannot flow and therefore have any number of free surfaces liquids in case of liquids the molecules are not tightly packed and their position is not fixed as compared to molecules in solid state these molecules possess more energy in comparison to solids there is greater intermolecular space and lesser intermolecular force of attraction the attraction between molecules is less but still not so less that they may move in any direction they can easily slide over each other and exchange or even change their places properties and reasons for exhibiting the properties one liquids don't have a definite shape but take the shape of container in which they are kept reason as molecules of liquids are not tightly packed they can easily shift and adjust by taking the shape of container in which they are kept not being compact liquids don't have a fixed shape two liquids have 
a fixed volume. When we say half cup of milk, we have an idea as to how much space will be occupied by it. Similarly, if you are thirsty, you know how much water you can consume because we have a general idea of the volume of liquids. Reason? Since intermolecular force of attraction in a liquid is not very less as in the case of solids, hence the molecules remain at an approximate distance from each other. Like solids, their places are not fixed, but they just can roam away from their places. 3. Liquids flow from a higher level to a lower level under normal conditions. You can attribute this property to intermolecular force of attraction in liquids which don't allow molecules to stray. 4. Liquids can be compressed slightly because they have a definite volume. 5. Liquids, unlike solids, have only one free surface. Reason? Since liquids have to be stored in a container, they take the shape of container. On three sides, they are bound by the walls of container, but on the fourth side, they face the mouth of container and this is their free space. Fact This is a fourth state of matter called plasma, but it is not often seen. It only exists at very high temperatures on inside the sun and other stars or on earth at low pressures. It consists of atoms split up by great heat or electricity. Thus, any material which has a definite volume but no definite shape and has one free surface is called liquid. Activity Take a small cup filled with water and a glass bowl and a coffee flask. Note the shape of water in the cup. It has one free flat surface as shown in the figure. Now, invert the cup in a glass bowl. You will find that water flows into the bowl and takes the shape of the bowl, but its top surface is free and flat. Pour the water from the bowl to the coffee flask. You will find that water flows into the flask and takes the shape of the flask with its top surface free and flat. Now, again, pour water from coffee flask to the cup. What do you observe? The cup again gets filled and the water takes the shape of the cup. Gases In this state of matter, molecules are far apart from each other. There is maximum intermolecular space and minimum intermolecular force of attraction. Molecules possess high energy and move freely in all directions. Properties and reasons for exhibiting the properties. 1. Gases have no definite shape. They take the shape of containing vessel. Then, what is the difference between gases and liquids? Gases occupy every bit of space available. So, while you can say, give me a cup of tea, but you cannot say, give me a cup of air. Reason? As there is negligible or very less attraction, between gaseous molecules, they move anywhere. 2. Air occupies space. Activity Take an empty glass tumbler and lower it vertically downward in a trough of water. Do you find it easy to push it down? What do you observe when you tilt the glass? In the first case, it is not easy to push down the glass. When you tilt the glass, Bubbles of air escape out and water enters the glass. First of all, why was it difficult to push the glass? An empty glass is not empty, but is full of air. When you push an inverted glass in a trough of water, air resists the entry of water as it has occupied all available space in the glass. When you tilted the glass, 
air escaped as bubbles and water entered the glass this activity proves that air occupies space that is it has volume but its volume is not fixed as it fills up the entire container 3 gases have no definite volume reason gases have large intermolecular space between them with molecules free to move in any direction gases can flow in all directions because of negligible intermolecular force of attraction between their molecules activity take an empty glass bottle and pour a few drops of perfume in it smell the bottle you will be able to smell the perfume now place this bottle in your drawing room and leave it undisturbed for a few minutes you will observe that the whole room is filled with the smell of perfume from this investigation we conclude that gases have no definite volume they have a property to fill the entire space available to them four gases are highly compressible reason owing to large intermolecular spaces between them gases can easily be compressed what does a mechanic do when he fills air in your cycle tube he allows compressed air to enter the cycle tube and fill it five gases have no free surface reason if you keep gas in a container then to avoid escaping of gas you must seal the container example lpg cylinder at home is sealed as it contains cooking gas hence gases have no free surface comparative study of the properties of solids liquids and gases property solid liquid gas one shape fixed no fixed shape no fixed shape two arrangement packed very tightly packed loosely packed very loosely three force of attraction very strong strong negligible four intermolecular space negligible medium maximum five volume definite definite not definite six compressibility non compressible can be compressed slightly can be compressed easily change of states matter can be changed from one state to another a substance can exist in any of the physical states we can change the physical state by changing the temperature or pressure for example water can be changed from liquid to solid ice at 0 degree celsius and from liquid to gaseous state at 100 degree celsius the process can also be reversed if we cool steam we get water which on further cooling changes to ice based on above observations we can conclude that water can exist in all the three states and a change in state can be brought about by changing the temperature or pressure other substances also behave similarly at different temperatures and pressures even gold silver iron and copper can occur in all three states but not under normal conditions melting conversion of solid into liquid on heating is called melting example conversion of ice solid to water liquid on heating vaporization conversion of liquid to vapor is called vaporization it occurs at all temperatures example conversion of water liquid into water vapor condensation conversion of vapor into liquid on cooling is called condensation example conversion of water vapor to liquid water on cooling freezing conversion of liquid into solid 
on cooling is called freezing example formation of ice solid on cooling water liquid sublimation some substances change directly from solid to gas on heating such a conversion is called sublimation when cooled the vapors of such substances directly solidify the solid thus obtained is called a sublimate iodine ammonium chloride and naphthalene are common substances that sublime a direct change of state from a gas to a solid is called deposition heating a solid to change directly to gaseous state without the intermediate liquid state example heating of ammonium chloride ammonium chloride solid cooling ammonium chloride vapor do you know substances like iodine ammonium chloride and naphthalene are common sublime substances they change directly from solid to gas 